try something new today. I'll tell you what my game plan is that I don't have a game plan. I've never used these shaker bills before. So a viewer actually recommended it or asked me if I, I've ever done it. And no, I haven't. So let's give it a try. So, so far I wrapped it. I got the thread on there. I mushroomed the tip so the thread doesn't fall off the end. Do I want to do flash? I want to leave the flash out. Right now, I, I kind of want to build this one for Lake Roosevelt. And Lake Roosevelt, typically for me, I don't use a lot of flash there unless uh, the fish go deep. And then normally I'll incorporate some glow or something like that or UV. Right now, it's, it's more... Uh, I worry about contrast and keeping it simple, really. So let's try to keep this one simple. That one glows. This tinsel, I love using this one. This one's always good. Let's just put a little bit of glow in there. I needed something to do, pretty much. And uh, you can't exactly go fishing all the time during winter. So I started doing this. There's always something to learn too. Always something to learn. There's always, yeah, it's just, and it's that, that feeling when you catch something on something you built is pretty freaking cool. I don't care where I fished at which is mostly Washington. I do not have any experience outside of Washington as far as kokanee, but most of the time, less is more with tinsel, with, with uh, not necessarily glow, but tinsel, like anything shiny. Cause you can, it's just like scent. You can definitely over scent things and you can put too much tinsel. Like a few strands goes a long ways. And again, this was from a viewer. This was a viewer idea. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who subscribed too. We'll be on the water soon. Let's fill in this a little bit. And the materials are endless doing this. It's like everywhere you turn, you can buy, I mean, Bass Pro Shops, which I don't go to very often, but they have one or two cool things there. And then Cabela's has maybe one or two cool things. Sport Pill has a couple things. And uh, anytime you're driving through a small town, like look for a fly shop and they might have something that you've never seen before, which is, which can be really cool. And then most recently at that, that app called AliExpress, that app is really addicting for both gear components, everything. It just takes a while to get. Two months, maybe? Let's put another piece of glow right here. And I'm using this thread, it's called micro thread. And to be honest, I don't know the terminology for a lot of this stuff. I just started buying it and started tying stuff together until something worked. I don't know if I like that. Let's turn those. But most importantly, I've had fun doing it. You can see there's no lip up here. So my thread can come off there. So I want to be careful. If you pull on it hard, it does snap pretty easy. I want to keep this one pretty simple. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of stuff on there. And then to finish it, I just want to even everything out. Because I'm going to use that, that new tape I got recently. Yeah, I just broke it. So I need an easy fix to fix that. Let's do a, 10 more wraps, five or whatever. Cut that off. Get you a different angle. Basically, it's just an overhand loop. I tied two overhand loops 
put it on there. I'm going to pinch it. Walk it up. And do one more. One more double. And this is just a vice or a pair of channel locks <laughs> that I welded to a nail. Because I had a vice, I had a loose vice, and it was a cheap one. And it just kept moving, and and this one's just screwed into my bench. That's yeah. So here's here's what we ended up with. Put a few beads right there. And then first hook, second hook. Oh, it didn't end up with it. We're not done with it yet. And this stuff was all from AliExpress too. It was like $3 for all this stuff. But it took three months to get here. should have an orange head. This one might be good with an orange head. I think that's too much. Let's do an orange head. See, it looks all funny now until you put that head cement then the head cement kind of levels it all out let's put a stripe on it our head clear and the only caution i have with this is when you put it on too thick it it can it gets cloudy so if you're gonna do like a thick head, then it's it's gonna be better off doing it in stages. So this stuff will wanna move for a while. It doesn't set up fast at all. Maybe in the summer. But it wants to move, so you kinda of the first the first what five minutes maybe you wanna just keep rolling it around. I know people have a ton of success running these things, but I just never have given them a chance, really, on any fishery. I'm going to put this on my drying rack. See you back in like an hour. To We're going to rig that up, see what it looks like all rigged up. So here we are. It's really hard for me to, to tie egg loops on camera because I use my teeth to hold the slack. So like right now. When I need to pull all that slack from that tag line, I'll use my teeth. I put it in my mouth. I'm gonna do something a little different here. These are number two Gamagatsu is pretty much all I use now. The black and the red. A lot of black too. But I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the gap a little bit longer on these ones. I'm gonna leave it like that, I think. And these are four millimeter. And four millimeter is about all I use now. I used to use five all the time and then realize five can be too big on some fisheries and four, um, there's, I don't, I don't know if it's, you could say, can you go too small on fisheries sometimes? Probably overall, but since this lure has its own action, Start with a 36 inch leader because you really don't need the action from the dodger. It's an attractant at that point. There we go. It looks interesting to me. I think I would try it. Okay, here we go.
Just enough glow. All right. Well, cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see me build or try or review or any questions you have about anything, let me know.